Will it hold? So we've been using some big old beams we had laying around for our bunks and they're not working. And the company I bought the mill from wanted like $500 for a bunk. So I ordered some quarter inch four by four tubing and we're gonna make our bunks out of it. More than the street is though, this shit's heavy. Oh! Damn it. Yeah, I'm just not gonna be able to like get underneath it. It's probably like 300 pounds easily, but like across 20 feet. <laughs> My floor. <laughs> I know I have multiple forklifts. Yeesh. All right. <laughs> Went exactly as I thought it would. What's gonna be funny is like, they're gonna be damn close to this heavy once they're built. Three of these stacked 70 inches. Everything's cut off camera. We wiped her down with acetone. Give ourselves a nice clean, surfaces. So now I'm just gonna clamp everything together and then clamp it to the table and uh, do my best to put some stitch welds on these. I'm, they don't need full seams or anything like that, so it should be fairly easy. But as we know around here, nothing goes fairly easy. I don't care how hot it is, put on your PPE, people. Let's make some welds. Pretty neat. Got these big ass plates. Now these need to turn into these and then get welded onto those. What I might do is just weld these onto there first and then come back and weld these. Yeah, that probably makes more sense. What do you say, peoples? Yep, we're going that route. I don't think I've ever welded half inch plate before. <laughs> They're getting more and more fun to push around. You gotta say. Whose idea was this one? So I ordered some quarter inch four by four tubing. We want to make our bunks out of it. Once again, it was mine. Try to direct that. She looking like a bunk? Cause, cause I think she bunk. Sam just said she bunk. I think she bunk. Is she bunk? Or in the words of our glorious mid nineties pop star, Ricky Martin, she bangs, she bangs. <laughs> I'm sick of picking these things up. So we call it in the turtle. She's stronger than me. Um, Michelangelo or Leonardo, who, whichever one, they're stronger than me. You see my awful poo weld on the end there? Cause it had nowhere to go, which is kind of spewed out. I love building big, heavy shit. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's cause I'm big and heavy. That shit's fun. So the next thing we want to do here is create a stock. Cause what happens is when we roll a log on, it tends to want to roll over. And you also want to have a reference if you want to make something square. So my vision, kind of, I think, uh, I think it's how Cremona did his, is we're gonna use this as a sleeve and then this will be our stop. And then this can go all the way down to here. We'll put some threaded bolts here to hold it nice and tight. And then that way we can raise it the whole way up. If we ever need something taller, we can cut one. We'll angle these back and using the material we have, that should work. I'm already like a little over 500 bucks into this metal. If these don't work, we can always cut them off and try something else. So we're gonna cut some holes, then we're gonna tap some holes, then we're gonna weld some stuff, and then I'm gonna feel real buff. I 
don't think we want to be like up to it. Probably in here. I'm wondering if it should be a couple inches down. And we're probably going to want to make these a little longer. So part of the recommendation of Chris for Make Everything Shop, we've got some uh, rusty metal primer. This metal's not rusty, but we're gonna prime it with it anyway. Clean your metal first, and then let us spray. We're outside, bunks are painted, ready to go in. We only have one problem, it's that. This is in the way. So our intent is to flip this thing anyway. So what we're gonna do is remove it, clean the shit out, flip it, and get the bunks in. And what a perfect test than a 10,000 pound log that's only missing a couple slabs to see if my bunks will actually hold up to some good weight. pressure on her. Ah! One of the reasons we're building bunks is because with these big old pieces of wood, I'd, I could make a bracket and secure them into the ground, but you can just easily see how once you start moving big logs around, they, they don't work great. The metal bugs that will fasten them down and then we'll be able to put some stops on them. That'll help. Hot damn! Ah! <laughs> that was stupid. Don't do that. <laughs> it's going great. We can't, we can't get the damn log out of the mill. It's so big. <laughs> That's what she said. Yapsy. Bang! Bang! <laughs> well, I just leave it there. Can you go get the bumps? We want to make sure they're all the same distance off the rail, so that way the stop is all the same distance. Go ahead. One more time. How's it look? Bunkalicious. 4.5 from this side. <clears throat> Four and a half from this side. Boom shaka! We're gonna use these redhead sleeve anchors because it's what we've got. And then we can remove these if we would need to down the line. Good? Yeah. You're nice. I feel like on the first one, you might need ground support. Even though we're putting it on flat, and that shouldn't literally, they shouldn't need these at all. I wanna put them in there, cause they look cool. To drop 10,000 pounds on these and see if they explode, if the bolts shear off, what else could happen? Sweet infant baby Jesus. Will it hold? Will it hold? Oh no. Pull that one out. We don't really care about it. And you know why? It's because it was missing one. That, that was rolling. I was joking. Damn it! Well, the redheads didn't snap. They just ripped straight out of the ground. And yeah, that one just ripped straight out. 
We'll, uh, we'll move it this way, like three inches, and just re-drill them. Yeah, we can get by on these three for now. Yeah. Okay. These things should improve our workflow a literal shit ton. If you want to see us mill more logs, make sure you're subscribed. See ya!